The Pod Diaper Bag from Gladly Family is a diaper bag that can also serve as a travel cot and changing station for baby. It can be used purse style or with a long strap for crossbody or over the shoulder wearing. The bag is made of vegan leather and comes in two colors, Porcini and Whisper Gray. Pictured here is Porcini. This is a high quality and durable bag that can go with just about any outfit. It really is beautiful in person. The two front pockets are closed by a flap that is held down with magnets. That's not something that people often think about, but it's really nice because you don't have annoying Velcro that's going to wake up a sleeping baby. On the inside, there's this really cute fabric that has woodland creatures on it that is both wipeable and water resistant. I really can't speak highly enough about the materials and the quality of the stitching on this bag. When you open the bag inside the front pocket, you see the contents that are mostly used to enable the travel cot portion or the diaper changing portion of this bag, which is in the other big pocket. This is a mosquito type net that you can put over that travel cot option so you can keep the mosquitoes off your baby if they're sleeping. This is the waterproof mat that you can put down for either the sleep time or the diaper changes if you're using that back portion of the bag. And inside you can see that optional strap for crossbody carrying and the two poles that help to set up the structure for the travel cot area. These straps are very sturdy and the width of them would be very comfortable for carrying the bag. And also the clips that attach them to the bag are definitely high quality as well. And you can see there that the entire inside of this pocket is covered with that water resistant lining. So if you do have a spill of some kind, it's very easily wipeable and you can put a bottle or something like that in that pouch right there. I love that they put this fabric all on the inside of this pocket because you never know, having kids is such a messy business. Having a wipeable surface like this is critical. Another favorite feature of mine on this bag, these stroller straps for hanging. So convenient and I love that they're included. There's also this back pocket. You can see it's kind of on the skinny side, but you can put more things in there if you have your wallet or something like that. Keep it closer to your person and I really like that. Probably also a good spot if you have pouches or a snack that is potentially messy, but you want to be able to get it really quick if baby's fussy. Really great spot to put those sorts of things as well. Now I'm gonna open up this back pocket for you so you can get an idea of what the travel cot area really looks like. Please note that I did not insert the poles because I knew I was gonna be gifting this bag. It just wasn't right for our family because by the time we got it, our baby was just too big for this kind of a sleep setup. But I put the sunscreen in there so you can get an idea of the size and you know the length that's within the bag. If you're not planning on using this as some kind of a travel cot or diaper changing station, I don't think it's the best fit because that is a really big part of the bag. And if you're carrying around the diaper pad and all that stuff, it eats up a lot of your storage space. Personally, I have two kids in diapers and I found that it did not have enough storage space for our family. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe. We're really trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. And it would really mean a lot to us if you'd help us accomplish that goal. Hopefully this was helpful. We have some more comparisons coming up. So hopefully you'll stick around for those. See you on the next one. Bye.